welcome to the other side of my kitchen where the work really gets done. I've had a lot of requests to share some recipes during quarantine, especially since I've started the new Faster Way program, been eating healthy, and I wanna show you that you can cook the same recipes that are recommended doing the Faster Way or not doing it um, for your family. Same recipes that you would cook for yourself, your family will enjoy as well. Uh, if you are actually interested in joining Fast Away, another round is starting on June 22nd, which is perfect because that is the day after Shane's birthday, Father's Day, and our anniversary, and we will be eating out a lot on June 21st, so I will need to sign up again on June 22nd. I'll put that link below in the description box if you're interested. There will be early access to that group, so if you wanted to get started and kind of feel it out before it officially starts on June 22nd, you will be good to go. If that is of no interest to you, that is totally fine. I'm still gonna share this recipe with you. I'm gonna put the actual recipe on my blog. It's just easier to format there. That link will be in the description box as well. And I have to say, I do need to share an account that I've been following recently. I was just introduced to Tabitha Brown, or it's Tabitha Brown is the account, via someone sharing it on Instagram. If you are not following this woman on TikTok, on Instagram, here on YouTube, you are missing out on a gem. Her voice alone, I want her to read me stories. Like I want her to be hired by the Calm app to read stories so that I can listen to her talk. If you have not watched her account, you need to go check her out. She shares all kinds of uplifting positive messages, but first and foremost, I think the focus of her channel is that she's a vegan and she does some really cool recipes and they're really fast. She does them on TikTok. So, you know, they're what, just a few seconds long and they are really well done. Enough about Tabitha, let's get into my kitchen and we are gonna start with the bourbon chicken. So first, you have to make the sauce. And I just purchased this new set of pots and pans just last week. We were looking to replace the same set of Calphalon pots that we've had since we got married, which is almost 23 years ago this month. And I was looking specifically for nonstick ceramic that are free of all the dangerous stuff that you're supposed to be looking for. I found this set actually at Walmart and I've ordered a few of the accompanying pieces. I think they're really pretty. I'm just gonna show you this. They also come with the option of uh, like, a, um, like a brushed silver with navy handles and there's also a solid black with iridescent rainbow handles. Anyway, so first we're gonna make the sauce and then while that's cooking, we'll get to the chicken part. So the ingredients are pretty simple. You start with bourbon. Now, I got this because it is not as expensive as my good stuff. It's not Maker's Mark, it's not Woford, Woford Reserve, I don't know how you say that. Um, so I went for a little more budget friendly since I'm using half a cup. This is Rebel Yell, Kentucky Straight Bourbon Whiskey. A lot of people think that whiskey, bourbon, those kinds of alcohols are not gluten free, but at this high of a proof of alcohol, they are and I'm gonna put that in the saucepan. You are also going to need gluten-free soy sauce or coconut amino acids, proteins, I never know what that is. You are also going to need to sweeten this up, coconut sugar. If you do not have coconut sugar, you can swap it out for brown sugar. It's almost the same carb count, so nobody's counting. And then in here I have rice vinegar, minced garlic and ginger. So we're gonna put all that in. I also got some new cooking utensils from M Design. They are, I think, silicone with wood handles. So I'm just gonna give that a good stir to make sure everything is mixed up well. And then we're gonna bring that to a boil and then cover it and let it continue to boil for about 15 to 20 minutes until it is nice and thickened into a glaze. And then we're gonna turn it off and set it to the side. While that is boiling, and I was mistaken, you do not cover it. You just bring it to a boil, then reduce the heat to a low simmer, 15, 20 minutes. Okay, while that's going on, I got my big old saute pan. This does not come with the set. I ordered this separately, by the way. Um, I love the stay cool handle, and I really love, can we just say, I know I shouldn't care, but look at the gold speckles. The Goldbergs and Miss Gold Girl should have gold cookware. Okay, now we gotta deal with the chicken. So, you wanna take coconut oil, they say about two tablespoons, melt that. I'm just eyeballing it to be fair. We'll keep this out because we're going to saute this chicken in batches. I may need to add more oil as needed. All right, we're gonna heat this up over about medium high heat. 
get my little spatula. And so the key to doing this well is you don't want to put too much chicken in the pan. You don't want to overcrowd it. It won't brown or cook evenly. So we're going to do this in batches. And I'm not going to film all of that because that would be really boring. So coconut oil melts very quickly. It's all melted already. I'm actually going to get some tongs out here. Oop, we got a boil. Set my timer. I'm just going to use some tongs to start taking my chicken that's been cut up into bite-sized pieces. This is not very appetizing. I've already seasoned it with some salt and pepper. And I probably should have let the pan preheat a little bit longer. Just gonna do enough to kind of lightly cover in one layer the saute pan. And then as that browns, we'll set it into a different clean container. The recipe I'm gonna share with you says it has servings for four. That's if everybody's eating the proportions recommended by Faster Way. So that will work for myself and for Michael, who's following along with me on this plan, but obviously my college-age sons are not interested in losing weight right now. They actually would like to gain a little bit. So I do double the amount of meat and I double the amount of ingredients for the sauce, just to make sure everybody has enough to eat. This does cook really quickly. I do notice a difference in the way my food is cooking with the new set of pans. It does seem to cook a lot more quickly. It also seems to require less cooking oil. There's nothing sticking to anything here. It's, kind of, it's me. It's going to take a little bit of learning to learn how much oil and stuff to add to a pan. It's a little different. Since I've been using the same cookware for 23 years. But this is where it gets really boring. So I'm going to turn off the camera and I'll come back when I'm done browning all my chicken and I'll show you the next stage. My sauce is just sitting over there, minding its own business. I have my brown chicken all set aside here in this lovely bowl. Now it's time to make the broccoli. So same pan, and you just put in your broccoli florets. You can just chop up a whole head of broccoli or be like me and get the kind that's in the bag ready to be steamed. Here it goes. And then you add your chicken broth. Cover it, and this pan is so cool, I just learned this, it's, it has a silicone seal around the edge, but it has little notches, there's one, and turn it away from me, it has little notches inside the silicone to kind of release some of the steam so you don't burn yourself, but we are going to steam that for about five minutes, and then we're done, I'll show you the final result. All right, look at that beautiful green, gorgeous broccoli, all steamed up. Then comes the fun part. Just dump all your chicken back in. There we go, we'll save this for serving it up. And then, oh, this smells so good. Kind of pushing the chicken in there to evenly distribute it among the broccoli. And then, you take your sauce that's been sitting here waiting to join the party. Just heat it all through and you have dinner. Now, as far as what to serve with it, that's up to you and what you've been eating all day. But today I've hit my protein goals and then some. So instead of adding a side of quinoa, which is one idea, I'm going with brown rice and let me show you what I'm using. So it is still hard to find just basic bags of brown rice in my grocery store. Who would have thought it? But this is easy to get. This is not a plug. But if you want something fast, these are little individual cups of brown rice. There's nothing added to them. There's no saturated fat. There's no cholesterol. There's no added salt or anything. It's just the brown rice. You pop this off, microwave it for a minute in the microwave, and you have a perfect serving size of rice for one person. So that's going to be what's on my side. Actually, I'm making that for everybody. But that's it. You can add, you know, serve it with a salad, whatever you want. Let me get this plated and served and I'll show you the final result. So here is my dinner all plated, steaming hot and good to go. I hope that you enjoyed this. Thank you so much for hanging out with me in my kitchen today. And if you'd like to see more recipes and cooking ideas, please let me know in the comments below. As always, thank you for spending time with me, especially here in my kitchen. I feel like we're 
all just kind of casually hanging out. Wish I could have you all over for dinner, but I can't. So I'm gonna go sit down with the people who do live here and enjoy this fresh hot meal. Have a great day, everyone, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.